Now, guys, before we get into this podcast, um, I need to give you guys a little bit of a warning because I know for sure that this podcast is going to trigger some of you guys. This podcast may trigger you. Um, we're going to be talking about money in this podcast and some of the numbers that we're going to be talking about in this episode might seem completely unrealistic and they may trigger you. You may say things to yourself in your head like, there's no fucking way he did that. Um, it's impossible. Um, bullshit. And my question, my, my challenge for you is if you catch yourself getting triggered, I challenge you to look at your own money mindset. I challenge you to look at your own money mindset. And I challenge you to ask yourself, what sort of limitations have you placed on yourself? Because Don Lamb is going to tell you the truth and, and it's going to be fun. So guys, today we're bringing on Don Lamb. And I want to give you guys a little bit of a backstory before we get into the interview. Um, guys, at, at Aesthetic Nation, um, I started Aesthetic Nation as like a little bit of a side hustle back in 2014. I wasn't really taking it that seriously. I was like selling some meal plans here and there. And I was working at my restaurant management job. That was in 2014. Um, by November, 2015, I was making about $2,500 a month, but I just decided November, 2016, I'm like, that is when 2015 is when I decided to go all in. So I went all in started growing my business, started fully committing. It took me about a year, but I got to $10,000 a month in the next year. I kept growing, kept hiring trainers. It took me another two and a half years and two and a half years by July, 2018, we were making $54,000 a month. Now that was my record high month at Aesthetic Nation was $54,000 as an online fitness coach, um, which was like, I was like, that's pretty good. I don't know if anyone's going to touch that. But uh, Don Lamb came in and he smashed that record out of the park last month. Um, and I'm super humbled and super honored to be joined by the man who just smashed the record, Mr. Don Lamb. Bro, what is up, Don? How are you? I'm good, man. Yeah, it, it was a pretty crazy month for just like numbers wise but at the end of the day I, i'm gonna get into it with you guys and just tell you like how it actually feels because honestly it doesn't feel that much different than when i made my first 10k month mm. i love that um so dude what um let's do like a little bit of a backstory um some people know who you are don and some people don't um so like dude what got you into the fitness industry and like how long have you been an online coach for yeah, so I think the thing that kicked it off for me uh, to get into the fitness industry was doing my first show back in uh, 2014 and then winning it. So from that point on, like flexible dieting wasn't really popular um, at that time. And I think you know the same thing. You kind of went through uh, a similar a similar dieting approach as I did. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, back then, old school bodybuilding, you know, a lot of people were following meal plans, really restricted um, food choices. And I kind of came into the scene where um, I used flexible dieting. I was following guys like Matt Ogis, um, 3DMJ, Lane Norton, and they were all about uh, flexible dieting and tracking your food. So that's the approach that I've always used for my shows. And uh, that's what I kind of got known for. Um, but the first person that I ever ended up working with, uh, the first client that I took on was for a men's physique, uh, was for a men's physique show back in 2015. Hmm. So I would say that's when I kind of started getting my feet wet, but I still refused to advertise myself as a coach for many years. Um, because I didn't want to act like I knew it all. And it was probably just something to do with like, my ego and not wanting to come off like I wasn't somebody that I was yet because I was still working a full-time corporate job. Mm. Um, so until 2017, um, that's when I quit my full-time corporate job. And then I moved into full-time online coaching. Mm. Okay, cool. So it started out like your first, uh, you were competing. Um, yeah. And how many shows did you do before you actually took on your uh, first competitor? <laughs> I did two shows. Two shows. So did two yeah. shows and you said you won a couple of them as well, didn't you? Yeah. So the, the first show I did, it was the uh, Western Canadians. Yeah. Um, I ended up winning first in my class. I didn't win the overall in that show. Actually, one of my friends did. And then the second show I did was uh, BC Provincials in 2015. Um, I made first call out in that show. It was a pretty, that was a tough show. And I honestly didn't bring the best physique, but um after that show, that's when I took on my first uh, men's physique client. 
Cool. I love it. Um, Okay. So uh, you started out with the men's physique client. You weren't really fully advertising it. You were still working in corporate. Um, What made you decide to kind of jump in full time to online coaching? Because I'm sure that there's a lot of coaches that are in the audience right now that might be in that, like, they're not really sure if they want to go full time. So what was it for you that made you kind of like, yeah, I actually want to do this like all with, with everything I have. Yeah, well, I was kind of in a pickle at that point because um, I was covering a one-year mat lead position and um, I had the opportunity to apply for a full-time position, the same position, but um, for full-time. And because I didn't really resonate with my job, I was in human resources for three years. I always felt like it was really tough for me to actually get good at doing that. Mm. Um, I just never really had the passion for it. So whenever i would interview for a a position people would always like tell me hey you should apply for this job i would have to try so hard in those interviews and i just refuse to do another interview where i'd have to like fake that i actually enjoyed what i was doing so Mm. at that point i was like you know what like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do this um what i'm gonna try and do is see if this online coaching thing works um if it doesn't work it's okay. I'll go back and I'll find another job in human resources, but I'm going to give it a shot and see where it goes. And if it, if it does well, then I'm going to keep at it. Dude, can you imagine how much different your life would be if you decided not to take the shot like six years ago? Yeah, I would, uh, I would definitely not be, you know, impacting the lives that I am right now. And, um, I'm super blessed because, you know, I'm creating the life I want and, If I was, you know, still back in corporate, I would just be, you know, going through the motions. I'd probably be dreading uh, getting up in the morning, going to work and just wouldn't be the same. Yeah, dude, I love it. How how old are you? Just so everybody, I think everybody's like, (laughs) they want the full Don Lambstone. How old are you? (laughs) I'm 30. 30, bro. You're like so young, dude. You've got, oh my God. There's so many more years ahead of you, dude. Well, look at you and look at Chad Morgan. You're like, you guys are both young hustlers, so. You know, I'm always looking at guys like you that inspire me. Dude, that's all. You you inspire me too. I'm like, I got to <laughs> step my shit up. Don's coming, bro. Damn. Um, okay, so bro, your business like when you came into PT Dom, it's not like your everything was broken. Like you already had momentum coming into PT Dom. You were doing a yeah. lot of things right. I think when you started with me, you were around like 7 to 10k a month consistently. Um what do you, like, what were you doing that got you there? Like, what was it that got you to 10 K a month? Like, what do you think that, like when you first started your business, like, why do you think your business grew, um, during, you know, all the crazy times? Yeah. So over the past three years, um, before I even, um, joined PT Dom, I was consistently getting about like anywhere from eight to 10 K per month. And I was, it's funny. Cause I was looking at my financial statements over the weekend and uh in march i made 10k and i was like man this feels so good i'm absolutely freaking crushing this um and then (laughs) then COVID hit yeah and and i felt it and like that month i i made uh 7k and i didn't Mm -hmm. make a sale for 13 days straight and that was just like i was getting really worried at that time and i was like i don't know what my future is gonna look like Mm -hmm. and that's when i made the commitment to step it up because like i'll be honest with you guys um before COVID hit i was pretty damn lazy i was only working like eight to ten hours a week okay and then once i started working eight to 14 hours per day that's when my business blew up boom wait can we sit there for a second can you say that one more time yeah when i started working eight to 14 hours per day that's when my business blew up so i was working like eight to 10 hours per week. And I was still able to make anywhere from eight to 10 K per month. But once I started actually taking this shit seriously, uh, waking up every day, putting in the work from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed, that's when my shit blew up. Hmm. (laughs) I just want to sit there for a second. Cause I think more people need to hear that. Because people are like, yeah, I want to make 10K. And let's even just talk about getting to 10K a month, right? Like a lot of people are like, oh, I want to make 10K a month. And they're just getting started. And they're posting three times a week. And they're like, I don't get it. It's like, what do you mean? (laughs) You're not not putting in the work. Like, well, that's that's what's happening. Yeah. So in May, um, that's when I started working my ass off. Because I was, the the previous month, I, I felt the effects of COVID. 
And um, once I started working my ass off eight to 14 hours a day, that's when I hit 18 K. And that's when I decided to join PT Dom because uh, I saw Chad Morgan absolutely crushing it. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit. Like, you know, Chad is crushing it. Like I knew Chad um, before he joined the program and you know, like me and him were, were chatting about business probably one or two months before. And, you know, he was doing good, but nothing compared to what he was doing when he was in the mastermind. Yeah. So first off, shout out to Chad because Chad's the, the reason why I joined the program mm. and um, he set that bar fucking high. Yeah, he did. So Chad made $44,000 USD in one month. The reason I actually, um, you know, pushed myself harder is because I saw Chad, um, you know, doing like insane numbers. So I was like, man, if Chad can do that, like, I want to see what I can do. So he, he definitely brought the best out of me. Hmm. Dude, that's awesome. Um, it's funny because there's a student that's in the mastermind program right now, uh, Jay Stewart, and he looks at you yeah. and he says the same thing. He literally, when he started the mastermind, he told me, he's like, man, he's like, if Don can do 40 K a month, he's like, I can do it too. And I'm going to, he said that like yeah. directly to my face. And right now he's at 36 K a month. And I'm like, I think it does start there. Like you actually, and that's why like this podcast, I said that like, this might trigger you guys, but you literally have to like, believe that it's possible mm -hmm. or you'll never get it. Like if you're just like listening to this, you're like, there's no way it's impossible. You'll never have it ever, ever. But like, yeah. you see it, like you see one person doing it and you're like, man, if fucking Chad can do it, then I can do it. And now you guys are all listening to Dawn saying like, let's, let's go over numbers really quick. What's yeah. like, what were the numbers? Like you said, you, you got them before this, uh, the podcast, what were they? All right. So my first month in PT Dom, I did 36.1 thousand, uh, July, I did 26.4. So I felt kind of burnt out after that first month. I yeah. did one post and it was the five guys post guys. I made, um, I made $12,000 in four days. <laughs> <laughs> that five guys post really blew it up for me. And I was just in the DMs like nonstop, four days straight, 14 hours, just messaging people back and forth. And it really burnt me out. So the second month I had to take a little bit of a step back, but yeah. I was also so busy, like designing programs for people, onboarding people. And at that time, my systems were not as efficient as they are now. Hmm. So then in August, I ended up uh, doing 49.1. <laughs> that was the first month of the mastermind. Uh, no, the first month of the mastermind was October. Mm, right, 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 right. Okay, I remember. Yeah, so, go ahead. Right. Before I joined, uh, before I joined uh, the mastermind in level one alone, four months in level one, I did one hundred and fifty nine thousand. <laughs> first month of the mastermind. This is, and in the first month of the mastermind, we really worked on mindset, and then you really helped me. Um, you know, remove a lot of those bottlenecks. Yeah. So there was a lot of things that were slowing me down in my own business. We got, we got rid of those bottlenecks. And then yeah. October, we were supposed to take a, a step back because we knew that November was going to be big, but still ended up making 55.2 thousand in October. <laughs> 55.2 thousand in October. And so first month of the mastermind, what was it again? 55.2. 55.2. Yeah. That was supposed to be the slow month that and then cool. the slow month. And then the second month of the mastermind, it was 74. So 73.4. Yeah. 73.4. 70, so it's like a hundred and three. You made in two months of the mastermind, you made almost as much, as much as you did in four months of level one. 134.3 thousand. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. So in total, in total of just working with you over the past six months, I've made 294,000. <laughs> <laughs> it's i can't it's so crazy i can't like results are not typical this is fucking crazy i love it but like so i just want to i just want to go back to the one uh the one point that you had mentioned earlier about um you know what i do super well when i first started my business um i the thing i think i do super well at is getting people results because at the end of the day, you still have to be able to showcase a transformation in order for people to know that you can actually get get people in shape. If you cannot showcase that as social proof, 
then you're not going to be able to get more clients from it. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think I get people amazing results. Um, in order to get people amazing results, you have to be a good coach. Mm -hmm. um, and then also staying relevant by uh, competing in men's physique year after year. So I think mm -hmm. those are the two things um, that I think I do real did really well at to get my business going. But then also making sure that everybody that works with me um, walks away with tools for the rest of their life. And mm -hmm. that's primarily the reason why I created DIY Body. Hmm. That's dude. That's awesome. I want to touch on something. So when you're saying uh, Don has a very specific process for how he gets his clients to take pictures, you're saying you're very like Nazi meticulous. Yeah. Meticulous with how you get your clients to take your pictures. Can you walk, can you maybe that's a little tidbit that I think people could get some value from. So can you maybe walk us through how you make sure your clients all take pictures in the uniform, the exact same way so you can share them? Absolutely. And I even work with a few people in 10K and they can they can tell you like how meticulous I am because mm -hmm. if the photos are not good, then I cannot see uh, their the, the changes that are happening week to week. So the most important photos that you guys get from your clients are the before photos and the after photos, because this is what you're going to showcase as the transformation when they're done their program, right? So the before photos need to be so well done that there needs to be good lighting. Um, they need to be posing the right way so that you can actually see their physique. Um, and then also it needs to be, the camera angle needs to be absolutely perfect too. Like if their camera is looking up at them, it's gonna give them a, a funny angle. So the photos must be so well done. And if they're not well done, you need to make your clients redo those photos because at the end of the day, that is what is going to make you guys money. Okay. The transformation photos that people are seeing, the results that people are seeing that this client is getting, that's what's going to make you guys money. Okay. So the before photo is very important, but so is the after. The after photo, it should showcase the changes that they have made. It should be similar clothing as they were wearing in the beginning, and it should showcase um, a difference in their physique. Cool. I love that. Super valuable. Um, I love it. So, yo, Don, you're a business owner right now. Obviously, you're not only running yourself, but you're also running a team of coaches now. Like since, yeah. well, you, you had one coach, but now you've got an entire team of people. Um, yeah. Like for you right now, like uh, you've got, you know, all your clients, you're running the business. What are some of the challenges that you're currently facing? Making sure that your clients are getting amazing results while also running the biz, while also post like, while also being in the mastermind, like what challenges are you currently facing as a business owner? I'd have to say it's just finding a healthy work-life balance. Mm. And I'll be honest with you guys. I work a lot. Like I'm a workaholic. And because of this, a lot of areas in my life do suffer. Um, and that's something that I'm working on improving. So right now I'm going through a process where I'm, I used to do client check-ins on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And what I've discovered is that I actually need a day off. Mm -hmm. I need to take at least one to two days off. So what I've done now is actually transitioned a lot of my clients, especially the new ones to doing client check-ins on Mondays, because mm -hmm. if I can't, if I'm feeling burnt out, then I'm not going to be able to serve my clients in my very best. So in right. order for me to come at 100% every single week, I need to take time downtime for me to um, just uh, clear my mind and also improve the other areas of my life, like my fitness and my relationships. Dude, I love that. Can I, can I jump in here? I want to agree with you yeah. guys. There's two people that are saying the exact same thing. Like a lot of you guys look up to me and you're like, yo, I want to be like, be Mark. And a lot of you guys are looking at Don Lamb. You're like, yo, I want results like Don. A full day off every week is necessary. Mm -hmm. Full day off. Because if you guys like at the level that we're playing at, if we don't take a day off, then we're going to burn out. It's the same thing for you guys getting to that level. Like if you want to, you must be before you can have, right? We've talked about that in the podcast before. So if you see people that have traits that you wish to, uh, or that has the, have the results that you wish to have, then you need to figure out what traits that they have and you need to duplicate those traits in your life. And one of them is like a full day off, 100%. It's, it's absolutely everything. Um, because burnout is not fun. Like there was last month when you were crushing it, actually, no, last month when we were fixing the holes 
when we, me and you jumped on that call, one of the things I was like, bro, you need to go to the fucking gym. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like you're, you're crushing it in your business, but get to the fucking gym, bro. Because it's like, sometimes when your business takes off, like you're just like, you're just like, okay, I'm just going to keep working. But then you mm -hmm. keep working and then little things stress you out more because you're not like, on. you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's easy to get out of balance when you start to get to this level. 100%. And um, it's funny because the work life balance I have right now is the complete opposite. Um, you know, before COVID, before COVID, I was, I was lazy. I was, there was too much life, not enough work. And now yeah. it's a lot of work and not enough life. So again, that's what I'm struggling with right now. But I'm, I'm in the process of improving it. And I think within the next three to six months, things will uh, definitely improve with the work with the work life balance I have right now. Cool. I love it. Um, so bro, it's like, it's, I think it's pretty hard for people to even believe, um, that you made $74,000 in one month. Um, mm -hmm. what do you think contributed to your success this month, bro? Like, why was it like, why was this month, uh, different than the others? Why did you blow it out of the water this month? Like, what was it that really like caused you to explode? Yeah. So this month did not happen by fluke and, you know, anybody in, the program right now, anybody in PT Dom knows that, you know, I've consistently been doing good. Um, so this in the entire October, we spent preparing for November, we pre were preparing to have a really big month. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys three things that I believe were the, the main things that helped me hit $74,000. Okay. Take notes. So, Number one was removing the bottlenecks, um, removing as many bottlenecks as I could uh, with my process and my systems. Okay, so I removed things that were slowing me down. Uh, one of the things in particular that was slowing me down was doing a lot of one to one calls. So every person that was joining my program, I was spending anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes on a kickoff call. Then I was also teaching each person how to track their macros and that was like an hour to an hour and a half call so mm -hmm. that is one thing that i really uh just uh i eliminated it but i've done it in a different way um the second thing was i added two more coaches to my team so at the time um in october it was myself and my other coach clara ship and then i added on two new coaches in november because um, I knew that there was going to be a, a, a point that we were both going to get burnt out eventually again. So I was like, no, I want to be prepared for it. I want to start, you know, bringing other people up. So I hired two other coaches to also help handle the workload that was going to come. Mm. Um, and then the third thing was uh, we hosted a four day challenge. Mm. Okay. In this four day challenge, uh, we made $13,000 before the challenge even started. And then by the end of the challenge, we ended up making 20.5 thousand. Which by the way, we teach the 40 challenge in the PT Dom mastermind and the previous record from a 40 challenge was 20,000. And he also beat the fucking <laughs> record for the four day challenge, which is 20.5 thousand dollars from one challenge. And I think all those records actually make me work a little bit harder to be honest with you. Um, yeah. If I've got something to like, if there, if there was no Chad and there was no Natasha, I don't know like how comfortable I would have gotten. Yeah. Right. But I yeah. know that I know that now that I've done 74, somebody else is going to try and try and top that. So yeah. I always got to keep working so that I stay as a top dog. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So those were like the three, th the three main things that really helped me hit like the $74,000 uh, mark this month. I obviously couldn't have done it without um, my team. Mm -hmm. But I'm not trying to do it alone because the thing that I realized um, back in September is, you know, if I want to be able to help more people, if I want to be able to better serve my clients, doing it alone isn't going to be the best way. It's not going to be the most efficient way. And I didn't want that feeling of being burnt out from working eight to 14, 14 hours a day again. So, you know, like that's the reason why um, I brought on more coaches so that we could actually serve more people. I love it so much, bro. Uh, it's so huge. And that's the same, like for me, it's all about the service to my clients. 
Like the reason we're doing well, the reason me and Don are doing well is because it's client results first. One of the biggest things you guys heard at the start of this podcast was Don was like, yo, like the most important thing is that you get your clients, you're a great coach, you get your clients amazing results because that's what's going to help you grow your business. And that's why your clients are paying you. So Don brought on more coaches so that they like he could serve more people. That's the same thing we did at PT Domination. Like it's not just me, it's Cole, Corey, Jeff. And like the reason we brought on that many coaches is because like, like I want the best service for all of our clients. And so I'm going to bring in as many like experts as I possibly can. So there's a bunch of different perspectives so that at the end of the day, our clients get the best results because that's, that's what's going to grow your business. It's client results. 100% man. And, um, yeah, like a lot of people may argue that I didn't do $74,000 on my own. But Your business did. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do it on my own. I And, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, everybody should build a team and, and do $74,000. There's like doing it by yourself without the help, the support of a team is like, this is, there's like, there's, it's, it's like, it's not impossible, but it's like to manage all those people and could give an actually great experience. Like you need support. You need a team. You need it. Mm-hmm. Like without Corey and Cole and Jeff, like PT domination wouldn't be half as good as it is. But because I have them, it's like now we can all serve at a high level. And now there's four people going all out instead of just one, right? It makes a big difference. Absolutely. And everybody brings something different to the team too. Mm-hmm. Ex- like even in the mastermind, we've got Natasha. She just dropped something. Like she's got a different perspective. Like it's the same thing. A hundred percent. Dude, how does it feel to uh, to hit that number that high? Like I mentioned earlier, honestly, guys, it feels the same as when I was pushing hard to to hit my first 10K month. Like, sure, it was cool to hit that number, but um, it takes the same work ethic. And, you know, like I was able to hit those numbers now because I have a a bigger team. uh, My systems are more efficient and I'm not trying to do it alone. So also I'm more experienced than than I was, you know, earlier in the year so with all those things being said if it's cool that i hit that number but i actually love seeing our community grow and i love actually seeing my coaches crush it more than myself like hitting those numbers like sure it's cool hitting 74 but i actually love seeing uh the community grow more and that my my coaches are actually um able to live out their best life that's so cool that's so if Don's coaches are listening to this, I'm sure they're going to love that too. That's awesome. Um, yo, so let's talk to the non-believers now. Let's talk to the non-believers, the people that are like, there's no possible way. There's no mm-hmm. way this is real. Um, what would you say to the people that are the non-believers? Yeah, well, I'd say if I didn't know me and I wasn't in 10K, I wouldn't believe it either. Um, <laughs> and I was, I was telling Brian before uh, we started the podcast that, when I saw Chad make thirty thousand um, dollars in the mastermind, I was like, "What? Like, I don't believe that either. Like, there's no, there's no way. Like, ten k is hard enough. Like, there's no way that he can make thirty k." Yeah. But when I came into the program, I already had three years under my belt. You know, I had over probably seven hundred transformations, and you can't compare your chapter one to my chapter ten, mm. right? So, you know, if you don't believe it, then I would honestly just say, you know, go and ask any one of our clients right now that's in our program. And they'll tell you that we've got 200 active clients um, in our private Facebook community right now. Um, And the second thing is we're only getting started. Only getting started. Only getting started. We've got some big, big plans for the future. Um, What about the believers? So the people that are listening that are like, holy shit, Don, like, I'm so inspired and I want to get results like you. Like, what would you say to the people that are listening to this and want what you have right now? I think, um, you know, definitely make sure that you're surrounded, like you're surrounding yourself with the right people. And that's why I think when I joined PT Dom, it's made the biggest difference is that I'm surrounded by 550 other online coaches that want to also kill it just like me. Um, and we're all hungry as shit. Like we're all sharks out there. We want to dominate. And, you know, also having like a mentor, like yourself, Cole, Corey, Jeff, like the help is endless, right? So you ask for help, you're, you're going to receive it. Um, now, like if I was going to give 
any of you guys some advice, it would just be like, be marketable and be social. And what I mean by being social is make sure you're posting your content because, um, you know, if you're in great shape, it's going to help you a lot. So make sure that you're showcasing it. That's what helped me the most is that I consistently was competing over the years. And, and through that process, I was always posting content about, you know, my preps and like how I was staying in shape and how I was doing it. So make sure you guys are marketable. So stay in great shape, get in great shape if you're not in great shape, and then make sure you're being social by posting your content. Dude, and then, I, yeah. I'll, can I jump in there for a second? Yeah. For for finish that. Dude, I, I think that like for me, when I was competing, um, that's when my business blew up. Like, cause it was like, I did show after show, after show, after show. And it's like, people saw that I was always in great shape. And so that's like part of what contributed to the fact that like, I would get more applications because I was in great shape. And like, yes, is it possible to build your business without working on your, like without being like in tip top shape? hundred percent. Is it going to help your business if you work on your fitness goals? 100%. Because mm -hmm. fitness is like your clients are going to trust you more if you look the part. Yeah, you got to lead by example. You have to. You have to. Sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I just wanted to jump there, jump in there. It's super important. You have to lead by example. 100%. Um, I would also say that like this is something that I've been working on um, more as of late is that you got to build a community where people feel supported and inspired and then also just create a create an environment where they never want to leave mm. Mm. so that's something that you know we're going through in the mastermind right now um so like building that team culture building that that vibe especially like what we have in 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 the 10k coaching academy that's kind of what i want to replicate in my own fitness business mm. 100 percent. it's like a it's like a culture. It's a feeling like when you log into the 10 K Academy coaching group, it's not like you're logging in to make a post. You're like logging in to catch a vibe. It's like you log yeah. in you're like all these people that are like going off and it's like, okay, like, fuck, like I'm going to get it's to work. Today. Right. It lit. And that's the thing that I discovered with the four day challenge is, you know, I wasn't, I never really did challenges. I did a challenge, uh, three years back when I first started my business to get those transformations yeah. uh, to be able to showcase them um, as social proof. But since that time, I really haven't done any challenges and I've only been doing like the one-to-one -one coaching. But when I did this four day challenge and um, you know, we invited people that were maybe on the fence about joining our program, uh, we had four coaches uh, in this private group we had about 80 challengers in there. And I'm telling you guys, like this entire four day challenge was super lit. Like we were getting 50 to 60 people tuning into our Facebook lives. That's Everybody crazy. was, you know, you know, just like sharing their story, sharing their journey. Everybody was posting their workouts on social media and it was freaking lit. And by the end of those four days, like I actually kind of like missed some of those challengers. Like yeah. it's the same thing. Like you tell us all the time, like, you got to make sure it's like a party. And when people get there, uh, the party is bumping. And, and when they go home, it's like, damn, that was a good party. That was a good yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Um, bro, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 74 K a month is, is huge. And it's just not even not only that, like, I think everybody can agree that tuned in, like you're just a super humble dude. Like you just really care about your clients. You want to see them succeed. Um, you're really hungry and it's, it's almost like you're, you're humble, but you've got this like, like underlying, there's like a, like a burning fire that's like humble, but it's there. It's like, it's super cool to watch. Yeah. There's always more to, more to come. So, you know, don't settle guys. Like I always try to get 1% better every single day, even before PT Don, like I was trying to do something each week to make me a little bit better, whether it be like. I need to improve my, on my website. And I know Brian doesn't do websites until now, yeah. um, but it was always something. There was always something that I could improve on, whether it be like, you know, just cleaning up my templates or, um, you know, making the coaching experience a little bit more personal, but there was always something that I could do to make me a little bit better. And um, that's kind of what's made the difference. Love it. I love it, bro. Um, is there any other final thoughts that you would give to any of the people that are watching this live right now or tuning into this podcast? Yeah. Like anybody that's tuning into this podcast right now and you guys 
or a brand new online fitness coach, honestly, surround yourself with sharks, join the 10K Coaching Academy because, you know, it's it's a huge resource. There's 550 other online coaches in there. Um, you know, if you hire a business coach, uh, you're going to save yourself so much time uh, through trial and error. It's the same thing that you're going to tell your fitness client, like, hire me because I'm going to be able to save you years of trial and error of figuring out what kind of diet or what kind of training program is going to get you results. So do yourself a damn favor. Um, join the 10K Coaching Academy because I've even seen coaches um, that are brand new to online coaching. They've joined the program uh, maybe three or four months ago and they've already hit 10K. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to make- You know one of the people that refer you referred somebody to me. Plenty of people. I There's plenty of people in the 10K Coaching Academy right now that started after me. And within two to three months, they're already making 10K. Mm -hmm. Because all the resources are there. All the people that would inspire you are there. So that's what you need to do. If you're trying to do this shit alone, okay, you can do it. But it's going to take you a damn long time. Mm -hmm. It's like- the way that I like to do it is the way that I like to think about it is like, do you want to do it alone or do you want to do it faster? Yes. Like I want to do it faster. That's like, yeah. that's why your fitness clients hire you too. It's 100%. like, well, you want to lose 20 pounds. Do you want to do it alone? And maybe do like, maybe take one, two, three, five years and like, maybe try to figure it out. Maybe you figure your body out. Maybe you figure out the macro split. Maybe you don't, or do you want to just invest and just get there way faster? Yeah. And like when you join the 10K coaching academy, you don't settle like, Nobody settles at 10K. When you hit 10K, you're going to push yourself to get 20K. And after that, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Um, when I was doing this alone and I didn't have other online coaches that I could talk to, guys, I got comfortable as shit making 10K. That's why I was only working eight to 10 hours a week. Yeah. But once I, once I got that, once COVID hit and I got scared, I was like, there's no way I'm going to ever let my business fail. So I got to work my ass off now and then do something about it to put myself in a better position for the future. Dude. And I'm like, I love like, so first of all, I'm super biased because hi, I run the 10K Academy. You should join it. But I'm not even just talking about that. Like I'm talking about when I want to level the fuck up, I surround myself with sharks. So mm -hmm. right now my business is doing super well. Like I've talked to you guys on the podcast about like how the business, like I made my first million this year. I'm super excited. But I'm like, if I just keep doing what I'm doing, I'm just going to be chilling and comfortable. So I joined a mastermind of people that are all like at a super high level so that I can like, I want to be a small fish in a big pond. Like I don't mm -hmm. want to be the biggest fish. Like if you're listening to this right now and you're making like two to three, four K month, you're like, oh, I'm good. I'm chilling. It's like, you could be making 10 or 20. So like, why, like, yeah. why settle? Right. If you're like, if you're making 10 and you're chilling, like Don was making 10 before he came to me and now. He's making 70. So like, you don't have to stop where you are. Like there's another level, you know, there's like more, there's, there's, there's a progression. Yeah. Nothing is ever guaranteed in life. So the only way that you can actually ensure that you're going to be in a better position that you were yesterday is you actually doing something about it. Bro, I fucking love it. Guys, we're actually, we're going to wrap this podcast up. So if you got value from Mr. Don Lamb, I mean, you're tuning into the live. Can you just let him know in the comments? And for those of you guys that are tuning into the podcast, thank you so much for tuning in. I want you to take a minute to reflect on how you're feeling right now, because if you're feeling triggered, you're like, fuck, like what the hell? Like there's no way, blah, blah, blah. Like you've got to check your money mindset. You have to. And I know me saying that if you're already pissed, it's going to piss you off even more, but like you're only limiting yourself. You're only holding yourself back. You're only like, you're putting a lid on how much money or how much potential you have because you believe that money's bad or people that make money are scam or whatever belief that you think is going off in your head, right? So check your money mindset. That would be if you're triggered. For those of you guys that listened to this podcast and got inspired, I want to speak to you. Some of you guys that are listening right now are in the 10K Coaching Academy and you're like, yo, I want results like Dawn. Put the fucking work in. Like he just told you, he was working eight to 10 hours a week making like, you know, five, 10 K making like 10 K a month. Now he works sometimes eight to 14 hours a day. And now he's making what he's making. So like, you got to put the fucking work in the more you give, the more you get. That's the rule of life. And for those of you guys that are listening to this, that are inspired, that aren't in the 10 K coaching Academy, yo, 
Take this as a sign that it's possible for you too. Don came to me and he was already doing well. And we just poured some gasoline on the fire. That's so maybe if you're an online coach that already has experience, like I can help. But if even if you're brand new, Don has sent me friends and coaches that will join the program with no online coaching experience. And within their first three, four months, they're at $10,000 a month. So no matter where you're at, we can help. Yo, so Don, my man, if there's people that are following or listening to this podcast that want to find you on social media, where they find you? Or what's your website where people can check it out? Yeah, so uh, my website is DIYbody.ca. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Don Carter Fit, or you can follow my business page, which is at DIYbody right here.